These photos will make you say no. This won't make you say no. This will make you say yes, but you know, anyway. Boy, you better get that out of here on three. One, two, three. Boy, you bid that out of here. Everybody, please just do it now. Click the subscribe button. Go, go, go. It'll really help out the channel and it'll make me feel better. And yeah, comment down below something that makes you say no. You can put homework, you can put snakes, or you can put your mama. Let me know. Hey, let's go. Pictures that will make you say nope. That uh, man bun uh, will make you say nope. What, what, what the heck is this? What, what, what is this? But a three headed snake. Oh no. I didn't, honestly, I didn't even try, I didn't even try to do that. Free candy? I mean, I might check it out. During the day, I think you'll be fine, but, uh... Like, guys, I would check it out. If I was white? Heck no, man. Free candy? That candy probably dirty as heck. I ain't going up in there, man. I don't care if you got all the Snickers or all the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups or all the Skittles. I ain't doing it. But please tell me this is not real. A three-headed snake? Bro, you could get bit three times at the same time. You got to chop his head off, man. I'm sorry. That thing cannot be allowed to exist. <laughs> ain't no way, man. And then that on your toothbrush? Bro, you got to get a new toothbrush. That's just straight up disgusting. What are some of the craziest things? You not responding to my DM? Ah, look where I paused it, girl. You had your eyes closed because I'm so handsome. Okay. The craziest things that have happened to people while they've been hypnotized. On August 23rd, 1995, two girls in Belgium disappeared after being hypnotized. That night, they had gone with a group of friends to a hypnotist show where both of them were called up on stage. They were both hypnotized on stage and they did classic hypnotized person things like eating a whole lemon thinking that it was a peach. They were unhypnotized after the show, but they continue to have strange behavior. Video footage found later of the girls at a train station after the show showed that they were still behaving very strangely. They seemed really out of it, like they were holding their bodies in really weird positions and walking in the opposite direction of the train. Neither of them made it home that night, but both of their bodies were found a year later on the property of Marc Dutroux. Dutroux was a monster who had committed this type of crime before, but many were left wondering if the girls being hypnotized put them in an extra vulnerable position for this to happen. Well, yeah, I mean, dang, I ain't, mm, I ain't going to no hypnotist shows. I ain't getting hypnotized. No, I might go to a hypnotist show, but I'm not going to be one of them volunteers going up on stage. Maybe I should learn how to hypnotize people. Then I could hypnotize her into liking me. <laughs> a creepy video found on TikTok. A nice bat. Oh, scary. They were taking pictures with his new camera when they captured this. Who? <gasps> Who are you? Oh, heck no. Bro, the Grim Reaper is chilling on my couch. Bro, blow up the couch. Get the grenade and like, like, get a landmine. Do something. Uh-uh, man, I would've, ooh, not today. Chilling on the couch, get off the couch. I'd be like, hey man, you, you can keep it. It's all yours, baby. You can keep the couch. And then I'd move to Africa. There ain't no Grim Reapers in Africa, right? I don't know, anyway. The most mysterious things that has ever happened in the abandoned town of Stonebrook. So Stonebrook was this town that was historically really dependent on mining, but once that industry kind of got up and left, almost 100% of the town's population followed. But there were still security cameras that were left over. CCTV cameras that were left over from the late 90s started to capture and transmit what appeared to be a single person who was living in that town. And what's really eerie about this footage is that they're mostly seen alone, but they're just kind of standing there. They're not really doing anything or looking anywhere. Eventually those cameras started to transmit to people and the footage just got eerier because I don't even know how to explain the context of a photo like this. Still, all of this footage is very far away, right? We never really got a close-up shot of that original person until we got this in 2001. This added to the haunting collection of footage of the unknown person in that town. To this day, the lone resident of Stonebrook kind of remains this haunting relic of a forgotten city. Ooh, heck no, man. She ain't got no face. I mean, she shows up on camera. You can see everything else. I can see her split ends, but her face is gone. Girl, you're looking like a mannequin. Destroy the tape, man. Get rid of it, okay? I mean, this is obviously something we're not supposed to see. Don't go investigating. This girl is gone. Her soul is with Satan now. Mm -mm, you're done. Picture, uh, L, bro. <laughs> that will make you say no. Okay, that face though. <gasps> All white people. It's always white people. Ah, oh, we saw that one. Oh my gosh. Heck no. 
<gasps> Girl, what is that? What the? Oh my gosh. People still use Redbox to rent movies and games? What the heck? That's old school. But seriously, girl, what is going on with your neck and your head, your neck and your back? That's scary. This girl is possessed. She is possessed by a dang demon. Somebody, uh, dang, some a shooter or some. I don't know. What do we do? Should we stab her with a wooden stake? I guarantee you, man, I would have karate kicked her into that red box. Her head is bent all the way back. I just know she's having a bad day. I mean, girl, like, uh, get out of my store. No possessed demon people up in here where you're not allowed. We don't accept your kind here. I swear, if I was walking by and I saw that, I'd just mind my business. I wouldn't say nothing. Just it'd take your butt to your car and then drive through the glass and run her over. Can I show you a scary video? No. No, because this one's so uncomfortable to watch. You're so uncomfortable to watch. <coughs> Sorry. It comes all the way from Brazil and it actually went viral. In the video, it basically shows a doll sitting on top of a grave, but the doll's eyes move. And they don't just move, the eyes actually follow you. So take this as a challenge and try to okay. watch the whole video. Guys, without close your time. eyes. Close Here's your eyes. The video. Oh heck no. Nope. Blow it up. <coughs> Blow it up, man. Its eyes are literally following you. Woo! Anybody else got goosebumps? I'm looking at y'all. I'm not looking at that thing. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep looking at y'all. That thing, oh my gosh. Bro, why are you still there? That thing is about to grab you with his little baby hands and choke you to, oh, no. Oh, it's a no, man. It's, it's, it's a no. I'm, 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 I'm no, I'm, I'm good, bro. What the, it's got vampire teeth. Oh, it's a baby, so it only has like, two teeth so uh, yeah i get it i get it let's go back and look at her jeez man girl you are so nice to look at after looking at that demon baby i am so sorry i said you were uncomfortable to watch that baby was uncomfortable to watch but you you look good now you looking real good i'm, I'm like so happy to stare at i could stare at you all day but you still got them giant harry potter glasses that you gotta fix anyway ah bro it's not halloween what are you doing with this demon clown mask? Oh no. Uh, sir? Sir. Just run. You're the mask maker? This dude is the mask maker. Oh, what? Ew! What the heck? You look like Frankenstein's assistant. Heck up on out of here. Stop. You are terrifying. Why is everybody trying to scare me? Dang, man. You got the most uneven eyes I've ever seen. One eye's too big and the other eye's too small. Why couldn't you balance it out? Maybe if somebody slaps you hard in the head, maybe it'll fix it. How the heck is one eye looking south and the other one's looking west? <laughs> Dang, girl. You gotta get it together, man. Let's see if you have automatonophobia. I'm going to show you five photos. If you feel too uncomfortable to make it to the fifth photo, photo. you have automatonophobia. So let's go. go. Number one. Uh, yeah. And how about this? Oh, heck no. Woo! Feeling uncomfortable yet? Yes. Nearly there. Last one. Oh. If those images made you feel uneasy, then you could have automatonophobia, which is the fear of human-like figures. Follow now to Bro. see if you can make it through the next phobia test. Oh no. Why are your hands different colors? Somebody messed up, man. You might you might want to get a refund. This one is terrifying. Jeez. Why the heck do you have on two crop tops? Your face is a disgrace, man. Somebody left the tag on them shirts. Dang, I, I would not buy anything from this store. Like, this is how you advertise. You really don't want people to go to your store. And then you, bro, you just, you just got dimples. I mean, dang, like, oh my gosh. I know good and well you're planning to take over the world. <laughs> um, that smile, though. Oh! <gasps> A snake in a can? How'd you get in there? Oh, that's gotta be Australia. You know that's Australia. Oh, chili spaghetti? Oh, that's nasty. Bro, don't nobody want that nastiness? I would get the flamethrower so quick, I would... 
I'm burning all of y'all alive, baby. Ain't gonna be not one spider left. Matter of fact, I need a raid grenade. Raid grenades? That be hey, that's actually not a bad idea. Guys, we're gonna start a new company called Raid Grenades. All you do, you pull the pen, you toss it at the bug, and then it explodes with raid. That's a good idea. Hey. Theory. <laughs> hey, theory. Write down my idea, ray grenades. Yeah. Done. Hey, you actually wrote it down. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Good job. Good job, Siri. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.